The Jackson State men's basketball team received their championship rings for the 2021 season last year. As this game coming in on January 15th, they already had an 0-3 start to SWAC play, facing a Prairie View team that only had one win to three losses in the SWAC. Ironically, both of these teams, Jackson State and Prairie View, both had representation in the men's SWAC football championship, but both basketball teams seem to be finding some hardship and some struggles early in the season. That being said, there's been a rumor in the SWAC that JSU has a football player that's on the basketball team and he's contributing. And that's right. Malachi Wideman, the star wide receiver for JSU's football team, has been contributing on the basketball court and honestly, the boy can ball. Prairie View guard Jeremiah Gambrell, he comes through. He was clutch all night for the guys hitting a nice little two-pointer. Jackson State big man J-Mac comes through with a nice block right here. Protect the rim at all costs. Prairie View's Jeremiah Gambrell comes right back with a little rock, rock. Gets a nice little teardrop floater in the lane. Easy two points for Prairie View. Jackson State comes up with the steal. It's capped off at the other end of the floor with a layup by Evans. Number 22, Moore started showing his range. Jackson State started showing some defensive pressure, but Jeremiah still finds a backdoor cut from Will Douglas. They get a nice bucket. There were four lead changes in the first half. So right here, PV, they drive, the ball bounces off, but big man Juwan Daniels from Harlem, New York was right there for the putback. Malachi Wyman gets on the stat sheet with an assist when he finds Moore in the corner and he does the rest, a little shake and bake with a up, under, uh, and he banks it off the glass for two points. Moore ended with 12 points on the night. Moore comes right back, shows everybody that he got some range, bangs it out from deep. Wyman takes the ball and shows everybody that he plays football, so he has some hops. He can get in the air. Ends up with a foul, but now he's going to the charity stripe, and he's going to cash in there. Prairie View was not going to take it easy. They still were shooting with a hot hand, but then again, turn right back around. Malachi Wideman from three. On this play, Moore comes through. He tries to do a Euro and it almost worked, but good defense. Jackson State's Jonas James gets the rebound and comes back with a nice little floater. Big man T. Lewis, he has 16, gets the rebound and the putback. Prairie View continued to play Texas-style basketball. Juwan Daniels cuts at the back door, ends it off with a nice flush at the rim. The Harlem native comes right back, does another flash, gets him another pair of points. He has 16 on the night. Jackson State linebacker Aubrey Miller and Uncle Neely were catching the game from the sideline. It still feels like it's Jackson State football season around here because that's all we're still talking about. At halftime, they also celebrated the women because they won the SWAC championship last year as well. This year, it clearly looks like they're going to contend to do the same thing. Coach Reed, she got her ring first. She was accompanied by her son. She also had former players and some of her current players who were on the team last year receive their rings. Second half was all Jackson State. They came out with a 7-0 start. And right here, we got a putback coming from T. Lewis, my big dog. Prayer View continued to fight. Right here, we got a nice three ball. They wasn't going away easy. And the PV player wanted to let Jackson State bench. No. But after that, Malachi took off. The boy be flying on the football field. He flying through the air on the court. The boy an athlete. Wyman might still be in football mode. He got called for a foul. I'm not sure it was a foul, but the ref blew the whistle, so we'll just roll with what the ref said. Now, only in Mississippi will you go to the free throw line and look behind the goal and have a tiger doing the mohead swag. They got to mess your concentration up, and it clearly did. With the second half being pretty much Jackson State, Prairie View went all the way to the wire trying to get some points to make some type of comeback. The Panthers of Prairie View did manage to get four more points to bring your final. Jackson State 75, Prairie View 64. Why is Aubrey Miller in the line shaking hands with PV players? It's your favorite cousin from Mississippi, D. James, and you're watching HBCU Game Day.